Hello Uplanders, I'm YK2012, founder of the Upland Guide. If part of your Upland strategy does not include car racing in some form or fashion, this video is going to get you excited and get you on the right track in order to prepare yourself for the next exciting stage of Upland. If you are not part of the Upland Racing League Discord server by now, it's something that you must join and the link is in the description below. I just got off an I just got off and ask me anything on that Discord server with Jeremy. I'm not entirely sure what his position in, in Upland is, but he was uh, talking all about cars and car racing and giving the community there an update a little bit on the roadmap and what can, we can expect from car racing. So I'm going to touch on a number of those things in this video. In my previous videos talking about cars and car racing, I was actually quite spot on with uh, my previous descriptions and uh, direction of where things are headed. So take a look at the link in the upper right hand corner to go to our car playlist and learn more about those cars. In this video I'm going to go into a little bit more detail about some high level strategy for cars and car racing as well as some uh, details that he provided that I wasn't aware of and surprised me. What you can see on the screen is two images. In the left hand side it is the car racing uh, platform and on the right hand side you can see the regular upland map. And you can see that all the structures that are in the upland map will be visible in the car racing uh, platform. Players will be able to define their own car races and tracks within Upland. They can be uh, straightaway tracks if you want to do drag racing or a scenic tour starting at one end and ending in another end. You can have a loop or you can have a loop that is raced multiple times. So there are different types of races that and race tracks that you can create. Whether they be sports cars or semi-trailers or vans or other types of cars, they can all be raced within Upland. Each car will have their own different uh, statistics and parameters and the driver of the car will be your block explorer. The block explorer will also have their own uh, parameters and statistics and trainable stats. By racing in races or even within different types of uh, racing schools you are going to be able to improve certain statistics and parameters of your block explorer in order to uh, improve his driving skills. Now Jeremy mentioned that there were going to be about 15 to 20 different statistics and different things that factor into your Block Explorer's driving ability. So this is going to be something that is uh, extremely complex. There are going to be lots of different options, lots of permutations and uh, uh, ways to improve your Block Explorer. The cars and block explorers and tracks will all be different. So there might be certain tracks that lend better to specific types of block explorers that have better uh, driving abilities in one specific area. And there might be tracks that lend better to certain cars. You will be able to have different types of terrain on your track. So maybe half the track is on-road asphalt and then you go uh, off and then you go off-road where there's dirt or or gravel. So this will also factor into the racing ability. Players who design these race tracks will be able to uh, create leagues of their own, whether they be public leagues or private leagues. You will be able to set times when the races will be. You will be able to have qualifiers for your race to ensure that only the best of the best block explorers and only the best of the best racers and players will be able to participate in these races. All of this adds a new exciting element to Upland and how Upland can be played. It might not be enough just to own the best property in the city. It might not be enough to own a property in a specific node. You want to make sure that maybe your node will have a racetrack and maybe you want to make sure that your property is on that racetrack. Maybe you have a business that you want to open up and you want that to be on the racetrack. So if you're driving by while racing, you will be able to see that store on the left or right hand side. And that will provide incredible marketing opportunity for the owner of that property or the owner of that business. Something that really stood out to me from this AMA with Jeremy 
was the mention of the fact that the there will be a level of familiarity of a block explorer to a specific track so there will be the added value of training your block explorer on a specific racetrack again and again and again making him more familiar with it and therefore improving his abilities on that specific racetrack so that would mean that if you're trying to uh, be the best in one specific league of one specific racetrack of let's say a specific node that you're a part of you want to make sure that you live close that your car is going to be close to there so that you can train your block explorer over and over again and make him familiar to that track the long-term value of these block explorers is something that is going to be important to Uplanders and also Upland as a whole. Upland wants you to uh, create a community. So if you're part of a node, that's fantastic. Maybe you guys will set up your own racetrack. You can take a look at the video in the upper right hand corner where I go over some details about how to uh, strategically plan a racetrack in a neighborhood, in a city, or however you might want to if you want to be a race commissioner. But if you are creating a community or you're part of a community, you would want to go race your friends. You would want to have that type of friendly competition within the node. So it might not just be about what node it is. Maybe there's a special racetrack that is being designed there. Maybe this is something you want to excel at and have bragging rights uh, with your friends in that community. So it's going to be important that you guys develop an interesting racetrack to maybe invite other people in as well to race. It might uh, elevate the value of your neighborhood. You can create different stores and meta ventures related to cars and racing or just other things like block explorers or outdoor decor. Um, that will all be very important as these neighborhoods are being developed within the metaverse. It's not going to be just about your block explorer. It's also going to be about the car. Driving the car will end up using uh, energy or gas or I'm not exactly sure what the term is going to be but essentially you will have to be able to charge your car at the end of a day at the end of uh, a race or I'm not entirely sure and you are going to need to use spark in order to fill up your car again. Also while racing uh, it's possible you might get into an accident your car might be damaged uh, the damage of the car will decrease the abilities of that car you will have to go to some sort of a repair shop in order to get that fixed up that's probably another type of meta venture that uh, could support these cars also designing new skins and decals for cars as well is uh, I'm sure going to be something that's going to be very exciting to see how people are going to be designing uh, skins for their cars similar to how housing ornaments exist that you overlay those on top of the buildings there's lots of opportunities here there's lots of ways to create value uh, either with manufacturing cars or everything that goes around cars and car racing. So take a look at the playlist at the end of this video here to learn more about cars and see how you are going to implement that into your strategy in the game. Let us know what you think, leave us some comments below, and please like and subscribe to the video.